customizable ADA handles have officially launched on the Cardano mainnet. And in today's video, I want to take a look at exactly what that means, not only for the ADA handle team, but for the greater Cardano community. What is going on, Ada Nation? Welcome to Dapp Central. As I just mentioned, the personalization feature has officially gone live, being released by the Ada Handle team. Now, if it's your first time hearing about Ada Handles, they're going to be an NFT powered wallet naming solution, which has been developed on Cardano. So if you are looking to send or receive a transaction, you can provide your Ada Handle in order to quickly facilitate that transaction. Now, that said, you guys are looking at that video right behind me, breaking down all of their personalization features given the fact that the initial rollout of this particular platform had a pretty static layout to all of the handles. So now you can give them your own customizable touch, touching on um, things such as the background, the colors. You can even add links to your social media places or your social media accounts and so many other things. Now, that said, what I want to do as a part of today's video is talk about how, number one, you can go ahead and actually begin customizing your ADA handle. Number two, some of the supported wallets supporting SIP number 68 which you will need in order to take advantage of this particular feature. And then towards the end of this video, I want to talk about a sneak peek, which was released surrounding an ADA handle NFT collection, as well as their roadmap and where the team currently is. Now, if you guys want any additional information surrounding personalization, I recommend you guys go ahead and check them out on their official Twitter account. Now, to give you guys a brief review or a brief look at what the actual personalized ADA handles look like, I did have a fully dedicated tutorial breaking down the entire process, and this was the actual ADA handle that was able to create on my own using the test net version of the customization platform. As I mentioned, this is now live on the main net, and this was just released no more than about an hour ago. So jumping into the official Twitter here, which is available at Ada Handle, I'll go ahead and leave their official link down below. It states that customization is now available. In order to take advantage of the customization, you can head over to handle.me. Again, I'll leave that particular link down in the description for this video. Now, something to keep in mind here, and I did have a recent interview with Goose from the team who's gonna be more on the technical side of the development of the ADA handles, was that you will need SIP number 68 in order to take advantage of the customization or personalization feature. Now, if you're wondering what SIP 68 is, it's basically a SIP standard, which allows for the metadata associated with NFTs to be updated with uh, transactions being taken place or registered on the Cardano network. So traditionally with SIP 25, which is the majority Majority of NFTs on Cardano right now, you don't have the ability to come back and actually change the metadata or some of the traits in um, pieces of information associated with the actual NFT itself. Again, that's SIP number, SIP number 25. Now, with the upgrade to SIP number 68, you will be able to actually change some of those attributes associated with your ADA handle or with your NFTs, generally speaking, if that particular NFT has adopted that particular SIP. So right now on the left hand side there, we have a breakdown of all the wallets currently supporting SIP number 25. In the second column, we can see all the wallets supporting SIP 68. And then on the right hand side, we can see all the wallets, which will actually display your personalized ADA handles. So for the sake of time here, um, I initially or I currently recommend going ahead and leveraging the Eternal wallet, the Lace wallet or the Vesper wallet, given the fact that they actually support all three columns. Again, not only SIP25, which are the original ADA handles, they also support the brand new version of the ADA handles. And then you can actually view your personalized ADA handle with any of those three wallets. Now, we're expecting the rollout of SIP68 support within the Typhon and Flint wallet. And unfortunately, right now, we don't have SIP68 support within your Roy, Nami, or the Begin wallet. One wallet that I don't necessarily see here on this list, which I know I can connect using the personalization platform, is going to be the new Fi wallet. So I'll reach out to the team here and see if we can get some more clarity surrounding what is supported and what has yet to be supported for that particular wallet. Now, when it comes to actual personalization display, which is probably one of the biggest things, right? You want to make sure that you can actually see your NFT. Those are going to be visible within Eternal, Lace, and Vesper with updates coming for the Jira wallet, Typhon wallet, Flint wallet. And unfortunately, we don't have support yet for your Roy, Nami, and Begin. 
Now, the hope here is that over the course of the next few weeks and potentially months, we see all of these particular wallets supporting not only SIP68, but also personalization display. And another thing to keep in mind here is that ADA Handle is integrated, and I believe more than 30 to 40 different dApps on the Cardano network. Now, this ranges from different DeFi protocols, as well as DEXs on the ecosystem, and even Explorer platforms like PoolPM and Cardano Scan. So hopefully those platforms as well also upgrade to be able to display the latest version of the ADA handles, but that is going to be it there for this particular update surrounding SIP68 and which particular wallet support which version of the ADA handles. Jumping over into the next tab here, we have a brief preview or brief screenshot of what the actual ADA designer looks like. Now, I'm currently upgrading my ADA handle, so I'm not going to be able to show you guys this in real time. Again, I've got a full dedicated tutorial breaking this down if you guys want more information surrounding the entire process. On the left hand side there, we have my page, which is going to be a dashboard style view of all your ADA handles that you can display to the general public. Right below that, we have the designer, which allows for you to change the handle name or edit the handle name, I should say, the profile picture, the background, any QR codes, as well as the ability to add or remove any links to your social accounts. Right below that, we have the social links, which is where you can actually input or insert all of your social links, which include X or Twitter, Discord, Telegram, etc. Now, there's one piece of that I did not see on the test net, which is cross chain. So I'm really wondering if they're going to be going cross chain. That would be great to see, especially given the fact that they've had such success on the Cardano network. Right below that, we have sub handles, which we're going to have two of those. There's going to be a virtual sub handle, which will actually be one that um, is not minted physically. And then there's going to be another version or another type of sub handle, which can actually be given out to somebody, which they then have full control over. So different use cases there for sub handles. And one last thing to keep in mind is that each handle on the Cardano network is going to be unique. So keep that in mind. And again, this is just a brief overview of what the actual personalization dashboard looks like. But again, it is live right now on the main net. Now, Goose did post a fully dedicated article here breaking down all of the ins and outs if you're, if you're not familiar with the actual ADA handle minting process as well as the conversion process from SIP25 over into SIP number 68. I want to take a quick minute here just to say thank you to the ADA handle team for also sharing my content here on this FAQ page. Again, pointing the community back over to my testnet guide or my testnet review. So if you guys need any help with the actual process of converting or upgrading to SIP number 25 or to SIP number 68, excuse me, go ahead and make sure to access this particular Medium article, breaking down all the information surrounding the upgrade for ADA handle and how to actually personalize your ADA handles. Now, that's going to wrap it up for the first portion of today's video. I do want to quickly touch on some alpha that was leaked in my interview with Goose. And this was a preview of one of the NFT pieces coming from the ADA Handle team. Now, they're going to be launching their own NFT collection, again, bringing a bigger audience and a wider spectrum of just utility to the Cardano network. So go ahead and, you know, let me know what you guys think down below. I'm definitely going to be participating in their in their upcoming NFT sale. We don't actually have all of the details just yet. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that we are going to be expecting around 10,000 NFTs within this particular collection. Now, what will be ideal is if we can get some sort of perks or additional utility relating back directly into the ADA handles themselves. But you can imagine that this will be a piece of the personalization where you can actually take your ADA handle NFT or your PFP and actually integrate that into your ADA handle, which is going to be, again, used to simplify the process of sending and receiving assets on the Cardano network. The very last thing I want to jump into for today's brief update is going to be surrounding their 2023 roadmap. And we can see that at the very top that they were aiming to shoot or release the personalization feature back in Q2 of 2023. It did take a little bit of time, but it is officially live now at handle.me. And so we're now going to be, I think, kind of pivoting and jumping into the sub handle protocol. Now, once they do that, they will begin looking into um, the development of ADA handle domains through personalization. Now, one thing that Goose and I did touch on during my interview as well was surrounding the P2P renting, which I'm extremely excited to see coming out on the network. Imagine being able to rent out an NFT and be able 
able to actually make some passive income. Now, we've already seen platforms like Lending Pond as well as Fluid Tokens also begin to talk about renting out NFT. So it'll be interesting to see if, you know, maybe they have some sort of collaboration or some sort of idea um, collaboration when it comes to renting and providing additional utility for ADA handle holders. That said, that is going to bring me to the end here for today's video. Again, really just wanting to touch on the fact that the ADA handle personalization is now live on the main net. I'm super excited and fired up to be up to upgrading my personal ADA handle, and I'll be providing you guys with additional coverage of the ADA, ADA handle platform as they continue to grow and branch out into the Cardano ecosystem. If you found any part of today's video to be helpful or insightful, I would really appreciate you if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me surrounding ADA handles or customization or just anything about Cardano, then make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.